The Adventures of David Perkins. Like, subscribe, comment. Hello and welcome to The Adventures of David Perkins. This time I am walking around Restamel Castle in the county of Cornwall in England. The place name is derived from the Cornish language Rostor Moil, meaning Bear Hilltop Spur. Although there is no detailed evidence for the foundation of a castle on the site, it is supposed that Baldwin Fitz Thurston, who was the son of the Sheriff of Cornwall at the time of the Doomsday Survey in the year 1086, may have established the first castle in the late 11th century. Indeed, the castle's position overlooks a ford across the River Foy, and so would have been of some strategic importance. Later evidence shows that from the middle of the 12th century, the land on which the castle stands belonged to the Cardingham family, who were powerful landowners in central Cornwall. The castle was briefly owned by Simon de Montfort, brother-in-law to King Henry III of England. However, de Montfort lost the castle when he was killed at the Battle of Evesham on the 4th of August 1265, whilst leading the rebel forces during the Second Baron's War. The castle then reverted back to the Cardingham family, who shortly after, in the year 1268, granted the site to Richard, Earl of Cornwall. Earl Richard died in the year 1272, only four years after acquiring Restamel, and it seems probable that it was his son Edmund who built the castle as seen today. It is unfortunate that Restamel's buildings cannot be dated more precisely, however a grant issued in the year 1293 and surviving accounts from the years 1296 to 1297 suggest that the castle's main construction had been completed by this time. Edmund Earl of Cornwall died without an heir in the year 1300, and the earldom of Cornwall then became vacant until the year 1307 when King Edward II of England awarded the earldom to Piers Gaveston. Earl Gaveston was a favourite of King Edward, but became resented by the other nobles for the favouritism shown to him by the king. To appease the nobles, King Edward exiled Gaveston. However, Gaveston illegally returned to England in the year 1312, where he was soon captured and executed by a group of nobles. In March of the year 1337, King Edward III appointed his son, Prince Edward, as the Duke of Cornwall, granting him huge estates and the properties formerly belonging to the Earldom of Cornwall. The same year, Prince Edward commissioned a comprehensive survey of his estate, known as the Caption of Sinsin. Prince Edward would then issue many writs for the castle's repair and operation, also making improvements to the surrounding parkland. The accounts show that more money was spent on maintaining the park boundary than on any other feature of the castle itself, perhaps reflecting the value placed on good hunting parks. The castle's location near to the town of Lost Withell, a key site for the administration of the stanneries, that being the regional organisations regulating the tin industry, gave the castle considerable economic power. However, waste from tin streaming on Bodmin Moor began to silt up the River Foy. Consequently, the town of Los Withel became increasingly difficult for seagoing ships to reach, and as a result, the importance of the castle guarding the area decreased, leading to the castle's eventual decline. 